So do you know why the American flag is not supposed to touch the ground? I didn't really know until I heard a story this morning and I thought it was worth sharing. The colonists were trying to arrange a trade of prisoners and the English were keeping their prisoners in the bottom of the boats of the Navy. So the colonists arranged to have this lawyer go meet with the English to arrange a trade of prisoners, one for one. At the time, the English had the largest Navy in the world. But this lawyer found where the Admiral was of the Navy, went aboard his boat to negotiate for the trading of war prisoners. And he did successfully negotiate a trade of one for one war prisoners for colonists for the English uh, military. And he was allowed to go down in the bilge of the boats and tell the prisoners that he had negotiated their release. When he returned, the Admiral told him he was going to keep his deal, but the colonists at the fort would not surrender. All they had to do to surrender was to take the flag down. The people in the fort refused to take the flag down. So the Admiral told him that he would bring the full weight of the English Navy down on them. All they had to do to stop the shelling was to take the flag down. When they again refused, the Admiral opened fire. The bombing went into the night. The English reconnaissance had said that that flag had been hit multiple times, but it was still standing. So the English continued bombing that fort. When the flag came up the next morning, the flag was still there. And it was said to be at a really awkward angle. The flag was torn, ripped to shreds, but it was still standing. They couldn't figure out how this could be when they knew that they had hit that flag multiple times, but it was still standing. The lawyer was allowed to leave the ship to go to the fort and see how it was possible that that flag was still standing when the English knew they had hit it multiple times during the night. When the lawyer got there, he couldn't believe his eyes. That flag had indeed been hit multiple times. The colonists used their own bodies to brace up that flag. When that set of colonists were killed, their bodies were drug away and more colonists took their place. They knew if that flag hit the ground, it meant surrender. And George Washington said the colonists would rather die on their feet than live on their knees. You've heard this story before. It's a Star Spangled Banner. That lawyer was Francis Scott King. And now you know why the flag isn't allowed to hit the ground.